Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I am back today with a Uniwigs wig review of their wig, Leah. And she is a human hair wig with a mono top and a lace front. Um, it's temple to temple lace front. And I can't wait to show you how this wig looks. I have a decent amount of bio hair, um, but it's very fine and thin. So the way that I have been putting up my wigs that's like the fastest and easiest for me is just kind of do it in a low bun. So I do it like that, and then I'll just use some bobby pins to fix it to my scalp, and then I'll put on a wig grip before I put on the wig to keep it in place. Okay, this is the human hair wig Leah in the color medium brown. I'll have all the specifics listed in the description below. Um, but this is a beautiful medium warm brown. It's definitely very warm. It almost looks auburn in the light here that I have. Uh, it has a temple to temple lace front right here and a mono top, a full mono top so that you can change the parting however you like in that area. This is straight out of the box. So I haven't modified or done anything to this wig yet. Um, but I will be but that is for a different video. She also has these awesome silicone grips on the ear tabs and she is closed wefted. So that means that you have that extra coverage and security. It matches the color of the hair. So if the wind blows and things um, and those wefts are shown, it will be more disguised with the closed wefts. So. That is Leah out of the box, and I'm gonna put Leah on now. Gonna adjust the ear tabs to make sure my wig grip is covered. Gonna pull that lace front down. I have not cut the lace yet because once again, this is straight out of the box. So I want you to get a good look at that lace front. You can see that the lace goes all the way over to here. I've got my bio hair that peeks out right here, but really this wig gives a lot of good coverage of my bio hair. I find that for a lot of wigs, um, this bio hair that I have on the side comes forward way too far. And so it creates problems, not problems, but just like camouflaging the wig itself can become more complicated. Here is what the part looks like. Wigs are meant to be customized. So keep that in mind. So this is how the wig looks out of the box. No modifications made yet. Has not been washed yet. Hopefully I'm laying flat back there. How the back of my wig looks is none of my business. This cap is extremely comfortable. Um, I love the way that it feels and I feel like because it is only a temple to temple lace front, the lace is laying very flat. I'll have to do a second video after I've cut the lace and done modifications, but I have the perfection wig from uni wigs, which is an ear to ear lace front. And no matter what, I have to lay that lace down with um, hairspray or glue or adhesive. Um, otherwise, the lace just will not lay front no matter how, lay flat no matter how tight I make the cap. So already this is an improvement for me um, because I am more likely to wear a piece that I don't have to fully install. Now saying that doesn't mean that I haven't and that I don't. I'm just saying that when I'm in a hurry or a rush or my anxiety is increased, I will reach for a piece that is as low maintenance as possible. And that would be Leah in this, in this style because yeah, it's beautiful. The density on this hair, it's supposed to be um, very realistic and I feel like it's very realistic. Not too much hair, it doesn't feel overwhelming. It feels very lightweight, the movement is great. It is a human hair piece, like I said. Um, I'll put the specifics here as far as like all of her measurements 
and everything that you will need to know. And I'll list it in the description with a link as well. But this was gifted to me from Uniwigs. This is um, the third Uniwigs piece that I've reviewed and compared the knots alone, big comparisons. These knots, they're dark brown, but they're a lot smaller than the knots on my Perfection wig and also on Harper, which is the other style that I have. So that's a huge improvement from the last Uniwigs wigs I've reviewed and owned. And we'll see how this piece holds up when I start making changes to the part and I curl it to kind of match my style more and obviously with washing. So stick around, follow my Instagram page. It's at wiggin.out.mama um, because I'll post there regularly the updates of the modifications that I make on this piece. But first impressions are that I'm very impressed and I'm really happy with I'm really happy with it. Um, I, I know just a few modifications that I'll be making, which is cutting the lace, changing the part, and changing the curl pattern. But besides that, um, I feel like this is a great piece out of the box that needs very minimal work. Um, and if that changes, I'll post those updates.